Yes, that's Ryan Hill, your brave new waves from the brand new album, No Excuses. And we have Ryan on the podcast here today, a beautiful day in downtown Moncton. You know how to pick them there, Ryan. Well, I, it's, I, I can't say that... Uh... <laughs> I can't say much uh, that I had anything to do with that, but it is a beautiful day. So thanks for uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for chatting with me. Just coincidence, I guess. So what an album this is! Um, it sounds like you were maybe had some fun putting it together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we recorded at Chris Colpaw's studio at his place, and uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun to arrange and and uh, kind of make everything bigger than uh, it yeah. originally was written as so yeah. yeah it does have a nice fat sound to it um and the songs of course jump out each one is strong in its own way um you've also had a lot of help with regards to guest musicians on the album haven't you? yeah absolutely i mean we got uh the divorcees uh alex turtle kevin and uh sean we we got together and rehearsed and arranged the tunes and and then took them into chris and worked on them uh, even more so it's a long process and uh not always easy but uh the end results are uh i think yeah. sh- speak for themselves so it was uh it's a good uh, time. Did you bring all these songs in the studio, or was there some that was still kind of a work in progress? I think I think they were all kind of a work in progress. I mean, we we worked them up as much as you know. You get them to one level, and then I wanted to you know get Chris's input on it and, and have him you know uh, arrange some stuff that that he thought would be good on there. So you know, it was truly a collaborative effort. And uh, yeah, all the songs that uh, that we worked up, we we brought in. One of those being, um, uh, my eyes are going to be playing tricks on me. Apropos of nothing, which is your current uh, emphasis track. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tell us about that song. That one is it's kind of funny because uh, it's, it's it's kind of a reflection of what's what's happening in the world today, and that was just kind of where where uh, what I was looking at at the time when I was writing it because you know we live in this in an age where information seems to be everywhere and there's a lot of it and, and uh, a lot of information but still there's a lot of emptiness eh? well that's that's yeah. kind of the, the, the emphasis of the track is that you know we have all this access to to you know the internet and everything like that but it can be easily uh, it, it can be manipulated and, and and those kind of things and so it be, can become a question of like what are we really you know what are we really believing like and what what are we looking at so it, it's it's very much about that about you know really what you uh, you should be listening to is you know your your instinct and and you know and you're the one that uh, ultimately has control over your own life so it's just kind so you're of, giving us permission to do that. Well, I, in I, don't, the song? I don't know if it's permission. I would say it's advice, maybe uh, a little bit more of an advice tr- uh, tip. But uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's kind of a funny uh, atmosphere to to be releasing that that kind of music in because it's very very. It's just the stuff that I was writing about kind of has become more prevalent as time goes on. It's uh, apropos, if you will. Well, there you go. Yeah. This is Apropos of Nothing. It's Ryan Hillier from the album No Excuses on Atlantic Access. On Atlantic Access, that's Silhouette from Ryan Hillier and the album No Excuses being featured here this week. And uh, Ryan, of course, a very familiar name in the East Coast, the music scene. Maybe we should establish where some folks might have seen or heard you before. Uh, One example might be uh, East Coast uh, Love Story. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we, we... Did East Coast for about five years, and uh, that was a lot of fun. That was a, that was a cool project to be a part of. Uh, Zach Hackett, who was the lead songwriter in that, great writer, and uh, his songs were uh, a lot of fun to kind of bring to life. I was I was playing a lot of guitar at that point, lead guitar, and kind of something new for me. So that was a that was a lot of fun to to play those shows. They're higher energy shows and really different different style of. Uh, a song that uh, you know, uh, then I was uh, typically playing in my own material or other projects. So mm-hmm. it was a good time. Do you find that all the projects that you involve yourself with does it help inspire the next one or the next uh, personal project? I think definitely because yeah, the way I look at it, there's always you're always learning, and and that's really the goal. 
ideally, you know, whenever I do something, it's like I want to, I just want to keep learning how to uh, do, do different things within music and, and different ways to do music. And I think the great, the thing that I've learned, the biggest lesson that I've learned doing all of these projects and just up till this date is that there is no, there is no right answer and there is no absolutely right thing that is going to, you know, be the thing that's going to be great every time. You, you know, the point is to, to adapt your, your process and to constantly kind of do what's going to serve the song because really that's, that's really the point is, is you, you know, you come up with the inspiration idea and then just do whatever it takes to, to serve that song and it's the boss. Like yeah. that's a that's a John Prine quote. Is, yeah, okay. The song's the boss, and yeah. whatever you need to do to serve the song, that's what you should do. Would that be the most rewarding part of this process, or are there some others that you can say, you know what, this, this I feel really good not only about this aspect but everything. Yeah, well, I mean, this this was rewarding in a number of ways. This album, especially, is that you know I I started from a place of not necessarily knowing if I was going to continue doing music and then deciding to, to make another record and then uh, having that record be something that was, you know, continually inspiring me and it continued to, it, it continued to, to teach me things um, and was kind of a, a source of uh, continual inspiration along the way. Yeah. And definitely, definitely like a learning experience for a number of, a number of aspects, like just how I want to approach music and how I want to approach collaboration and and um, just what my role is you know like I I, I I thought a lot about you know what what I should be doing as as an artist and what what I'm really you know what I'm supposed to be doing I think that's that's important is like if you can understand the context of what you're doing in, in the larger kind of picture then it just makes it e it makes it easier for me to to continue in a way that I feel good about, it, you know, and I'm, I don't, I don't feel so, I don't feel like I have as much self-doubt anymore, maybe. I think I did maybe at, at the start of this project, and I definitely don't. It sounds like you did, because you stated you were looking at maybe this, that might have been it for, yeah. for music for you, which yeah. is a sad thing to hear, because... Well, yeah, it was, it, I'm glad that that passed quickly, because it was just a very, <laughs> it was kind of a little chaotic, you know, time for me, a lot of personal changes were happening, and so I, um... I, I even got to the point where I doubted that music was, you know, the the thing that I should be doing. I thought it was to blame, but it turns out it was the opposite. So it's always it's always been there for me, and it's always going to continue to be there in a, in a positive way. So, so is it kind of fair to say that this project uh, has helped rekindle the the fire, if you will? Is, is there more to come? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, you know, when I when I got to finish the demo of this album, I I definitely knew that I was going to continue to make music in in whatever way for hopefully the rest of my life, hopefully for a long time, and uh, so I'm excited to continue to do that in whatever way uh, you know whatever way I can. A highlight for me listening was a song "Slow Spirit." We're gonna we're gonna spin that once. Slow Spirit, man. It, there's a lot going on there. Can you break it down a bit? Yeah, for sure. I'm, Slow Spirit is this is actually the oldest song on the record. I wrote this like, oh geez, all, probably almost ten years ago. This is an old old song, and um, I had never released it or really done anything with it. I it wasn't. It never kind of got to a place where it was finished per se. Mm. And uh, but I knew I wanted to put it on there. I knew the guys would have fun with it. I knew Chris would be able to make something really really cool. So it was kind of open ended when we got into the studio and and um, we got the structure down and then Chris had a did a fantastic job of weaving all these amazing parts together that we kind of captured. So it's a, it's a little bit of a tribute to a buddy of mine who uh, who passed away from cancer a few years back and he was just such a uh, initial inspiration uh, for me to, to, you know, enjoy music. We we jammed together in his his shed on PEI. It's just kind of a, a really formative kind of experience of, of the fun and and spontaneity that music is is about. Wow! So that's kind of where this track kind of came from. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll yeah. tell you, it's a, it is a very special track. It, it really stands alone compared to the others. Uh, thanks a lot for your time today. All the best with no excuses. There's no excuse now. Hey, it's like it's like. Balls to the wall. Got to make it happen. Yeah, thank you, Terry. Appreciate it, man. We'll be looking out for you this summer here All and there. Right. Yeah. Thank you. It's Ryan Hillier from the album No Excuses. This is Slow Spirit on Atlantic Access.
Wicked. Well, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. so it's, ta it's taken a little bit of time, but I mean, no, no, and it's fair. I mean, that's yeah. fine. It's just that I'm kind of thinking. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So do this. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like right now, right now, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of outlets for people to talk about. There's not a lot of press, essentially. So. Yes, I think that's such a media is usually coming. They are, and that was really good. I think that uh, just for me, like it's, I like just hearing people who are making stuff. I like people talk about stuff. So for me to get a chance to do that is just really good. But uh, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. It is. It is a beautiful day. I think there's more crazy stuff coming.